News from the Pacific, April 1st, 1946. Mystery, madness, murder. The world's 10th richest man is lost. Captain Olaf Christensen, the world's wealthiest fishing captain, has disappeared in a cloud of mystery. Captain Olaf and his main ship, the SS Thorfinn, disappeared in perfect weather and calm seas near the Pacific Islands of Truck Lagoon. Perhaps joining an underwater graveyard of lost ships that rest on the bottom of the sea. Olaf was known to his sailors for his cruel jokes, but the final joke was on him. When the Thorfinn disappeared, much of Olaf's wealth, a fortune in gold bars, was on the ship. Lost gold, a missing ship, and some say the ghost of Captain Olaf. These are mysteries that will bring new adventurers to search for the treasure of truck. sea calls us, beautiful, mysterious. We are drawn by the wonders and dangers hidden beneath its waves. What is fact and what is fiction? One thing is certain, we'll never know by staying at home. The Pacific is a huge ocean dotted with small islands. In the heart of this big ocean lie the island nations of Micronesia, including Truk, graveyard of over a hundred great warships and airplanes, and Yap, unusual island of stone money and manta rays. Distances that took a steamship weeks are now covered by an airplane in hours, but it is still a tired group of adventurers who arrive in Yap. Hello, I'm Guy Sehe, the leader of this expedition and your host for this undersea adventure. Each of us is here for a different reason. To dive and explore some of the best coral reefs in the South Pacific, to meet new people and learn about new ways of life. To push ourselves to new limits. And to search for the lost treasure. Some of us have only a few dives under our weight belts. Others have made thousands of dives. Our first dives in Yap will help us become familiar with new dive buddies and a new dive spot. But these are not ordinary dives. The underwater sights of Yap are among the most exciting in the world, and we waste no time before getting into the water.
We float along in the strong current, past colorful hard and soft corals. We are surprised by a moray eel watching us from behind a branch of coral. Morays are not as dangerous as they look, but keep your fingers away from their mouths. A small nudibranch eats plant life, just like its relative, the common garden slug. In shallow water, I am lucky to meet a sea turtle. Only a few sea turtles exist, and it's rare to get so close to one. And everywhere there are anemones, with colorful clownfish living among their deadly tentacles. Anemones use these tentacles to sting and kill small fish for food. But clownfish are somehow safe from the anemone's sting. The reefs of Yap are home to many strange and colorful fish. But one type in particular gets most of our attention. Sharks. These big creatures rarely hurt divers. But most of us give them plenty of space. After our first successful day of diving in Yap, we enjoy a wonderful dinner of local foods. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And again, on behalf of the staff and the management of the Manoray Bay Hotel, we welcome you to Yap. Our host is Captain Bill Acker. Bill is the owner of the beautiful Manta Ray Bay Hotel, our diving center in Yap. I go a little further back in After dinner, with group in Bill shares a strange secret with our group. He is actually the grandson of Captain Olaf. And it so happens last night I had a dream. And then in this dream, my grandfather came and spoke to me. Bill presents our group with a gift. Pieces of a puzzle. A puzzle that looks strangely like a treasure map. Where is Captain Olaf's treasure? Every day and every dive, we learn more about the sea and about ourselves. Now the tide and wind are finally right for us to reach one of our goals, to swim with one of the largest and most beautiful animals in the sea the huge Pacific manta ray. Strong tides force food-rich water from close to shore out to the manta ray's feeding grounds. Although they are huge creatures, manta rays eat only plankton the smallest animals and plants in the sea. Opening their mouths wide, the mantas suck plankton from the ocean water. Yap, famous for its stone money, 
has much to offer us. Its gentle people share their ancient culture with new friends. These are local food. These are yam. Uh, this is the swamp taro, the yellow one, and uh, breadfruit. Breadfruit, taro, spiny lobster, and land crabs. We enjoy new foods from the land and the sea. Everything tastes great. See how about it? Some island customs surprise us. Beetle nut, a mild drug, is chewed by many islanders. But perhaps it's not as pleasant as we thought. We will carry away more than just photographs and gifts from our visit to Yap. We will carry with us friendship and understanding. <laughs>